Good, Good morning, morning Gold Coast. Coast. This is Dion. We're down in Broad Beach today. I ran into this guy yesterday. Uh, he's got a book called The Good News About Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder. Correct, but it's not a disorder. Is, is it not? No. So we'll find out a bit more about that and the fact that there's good news about it, about trauma. Absolutely. He's got me interested. Let's find out some events first from my GC. This weekend is a grand final for AFL and NRL. So if you want to see those games live on the lawn, the Star is holding a big event. They'll have bean bags, massive screens. 2.30 is kickoff for the AFL on Saturday, 6.30 on Sunday for the NRL. Um, Can I just say Aussie rules and league? We're going to say AFL and NRL. 33 <laughs> letters each. That's why your beer is 4x gold arm with you. It's Rugby Super Saturday at Bond University. Club. It's a full okay. day of rugby. They'll have local talent on show and food trucks. Food trucks, you had me at food. Then the Rose Society have their annual show. That's at the Rabina Town Centre. You know what, here's a, here's a really good rose quote for the Rose Society. Yeah. We can complain that rose bushes have thorns, or we can rejoice that thorn bushes have roses. Just like that. Wow, that changes rose everything. Society. Okay, it's all about perspective. Also, this Sunday is the 1st of October. Can you believe it? But that means Oktoberfest. So up at Jacob's Well Tavern, they're going to have a big Oktoberfest celebration. Live Oompa bands. Oompa band. Oompa Oompa, you know? All right. They do the whole foot thing, whatever the Germans do. <laughs> Sounds like lots of fun. <laughs> we should go. In some local news, now at 2 o'clock today, there is going to be a massive C-17A Globemaster flying across Narang, 90 metres off the ground. This is oh. one of the biggest planes in the Australian Air Force. It's actually for a funeral service for Gold Coast Flight Lieutenant Michael Atkinson, oh. passed away at the age of 94. Big deal though. Yeah, that is a big deal. And listen, to take the biggest plane that Australia's got to fly 90 metres off the ground for a funeral and condolences to the family. Um, that's a huge sign of respect for that guy. That's exactly right. And so 2 o'clock today, if you're seeing a low-flying plane above Narang, that's what it's for. Today's weather. Hot, mostly sunny, with a high likelihood of seeing Kiwis on the Gold Coast. You guys are taking over this place. Oh, it's an invasion strategy, I probably shouldn't have told you oh, that. No. We'll, we'll put a sleeper cell in Tassie, blew their cover early, really early. And then we put another one up in um, Logan, obviously on the east coast, and Perth on the west. And we were going to basically invade the whole country until we got up near the top. Too hot, bro. Too yeah, hot. yeah, so you just keep... So we just come back down. Come back down again. Down. That's fair. I, I was from Darwin, it's too hot for it's Kiwis. That's, that's our strategy for keeping the Kiwis yeah. out. Yeah, just just increase the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Now, now, yesterday, Dion, I met you at the Gold Coast Chamber of Commerce luncheon. What were you doing there? So the business community asked the creative community to come down and present mm. how you bring creativity and innovation out of business. Because obviously it's 2017, everyone mm -hmm. wants to cut in edge stuff. I'm ex-military, ex-police. I was in Iraq for three years as a police protection operative. And then I've gone into the commercial sector, um, mainly in management. But the difficult from you coming from military to civilian is the different language and different mindset, surely. Now, I've been out here for 10 years, feeling like I'm in disguise, watching and learning how this works. And mm -hmm. if, if there's one skill that I have that most people don't have is the ability to interpret and reframe. Mm -hmm. So I'll learn something, I'll grab it, I'll deconstruct it, learn it in my own language, mm -hmm. put it back together in my own language, then reinterpret it. And this is why I, you ended up writing this, this book. This is how I run my life. And as soon as I dealt with this... Mm -hmm. Post-traumatic stress. Pe yeah, people were saying it's a negative, people are killing themselves, this, that and the other. So you were able to then, by changing your mindset, really be able to deal with some seriously traumatic experiences that you've gone through and then help other people yeah. who've also experienced major trauma. Well, people say that the problem is here mm. and the solution came from here. No, what hurts is this and the solution's got to come from this. That's the base. And you bring it back up through this and it comes out. And so when I speak now, I'm not speaking intellectually, I'm speaking from my heart, man. I know what it's like to be in that hole. Mm -hmm. I know what it takes to get out. I know how to pe help people that are in that hole. Because I speak the language of the shitstorm. Whatever shitstorm there may be, military civilians are relevant because there's people in it. Mm -hmm. People have hearts and minds. And I know both those areas. And this is the, this is the devil's playground. EV can't touch this. So if you want to read more, the book is called The Good News About PTSD. This is Dion Jensen. We are now Battle Buddies. Battle Buddies Thank you so on. much, mate. And you guys have a wonderful weekend.